It's time for another segment of First Responder Friday. Today we introduce you to Corporal Gina Barone with the Horry County Sheriff's Office. News 13's Melissa Myers shares her story. When it's go time, it's go time. <laughs> For Corporal Gina Barone, law enforcement plays a big part in her life. Not only does it run in her family, it's something she's always had a passion for. I decided in high school that I was going to go to the academy for pre-law. Now the academy, I got offered an internship with the sheriff's office. So then I decided to become a booking clerk here and, you know, took off from there. After some time as a booking clerk with the Horry County Sheriff's Office, Corporal Barone says she couldn't handle being behind the desk any longer. She wanted to do more. I was trying to jump over the desk every day, every time something happened, so I decided to become an officer. And, and she's been with the sheriff's office ever since, four and a half years to be exact. Corporal Barone is a supervisor at J. Ribbon Long Detention Center, where she oversees part of the emergency response team. I check on the team and make sure they're okay. Um, when things happen unexpectedly in the jail, they call me, I put the team together and we go handle it. She says the most difficult part of the job is being able to think quickly. Although formulating a plan is easy, things can often change suddenly. You have to be able to make another plan on your toes, um, which is easy for me, but it, it's difficult given the situation at times. What many assume to be a stressful environment 24-7, Corporal Barone says it's not always a fight. A lot of times it's more of a mind game than muscle. As long as you give people the courtesy and respect as a human being, because um, they are human beings. They're just human beings that took a different path in life than I did. And at the end of the day, the most rewarding part of the job for Corporal Barone, going home to her kids. If I'm wearing this at home or they see pictures of me, they're like, oh, my mom's so cool. And I'm like, not really, but I love that you think that. Reporting for News 13, I'm Melissa Myers. Well, if you'd like to nominate someone for a First Responder Friday, send us an email at news at wbtw.com.